Ryan Steinecker with Glenn Smith, Athletic Director at Rich High School. Glenn, thanks for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Girls had a couple games last week. The boys opened the 2016-17 season going one and one. We'll do ladies first? Yep, let's do ladies first. At North Summit, that's a, a very good Lady Braves team. Yeah, they were they were a tough team, and we knew they would be athletically. They they were probably the most athletic team we'll play all year. Despite that athleticism, I thought so you saw some good things from the Rebels. Uh, you know, at times they looked good on defense. They were able to slow those guys down. Uh, offensively, there was some struggles, but when they ran their sets, they did get some good open shots, just weren't making them fall. Yeah, and they played hard, I thought, and did some good things. Uh, just, you know, they just were up against a more talented team. Friday, the Lady Rebels traveled to Bear Lake, and that one was close through three quarters. Rich pulled away in the fourth and had a monster night from Kiara Grohl. Yeah, they said she really shot the ball well from uh, the three points. And uh, obviously, anytime she's doing that, that helps helps the team win. Kiara scored 36. The team had 51. Bear Lake scored 38. And uh, I know Coach Lundgren was saying that he was a little concerned about Bear Lake. He, said he thought they looked uh, like they were going to be pretty good this year. Yeah, so uh, that was good to go in there and get a win. And uh, they said they had a good post player and sounded like we were able to shut her down for the most part. Let's uh, turn to the boys. The uh, Rebels on Friday night took on Providence Hall, and Rich put up 70 points. A lot of points for the Rebels. The offense looked good. Unfortunately, the uh, Providence Hall offense a bit better. Yeah, uh, they, you know, we thought we played well on the offensive end. Just gave up too many points on the defensive end. I mean, you were at that game. You got to watch. Was it any specific thing defensively you thought the Rebels have just got to be better at, or was it just a overall team defense has to be better. What do you think? I think their perimeter defense has got to improve us closing out on the shooters and getting a hand up in the shooter's faces, just making the shooters a little more uncomfortable when they shoot the ball versus just giving them an easier look and just putting our hand, hand up, make them think about the shot a little bit more. The boys bounced back Saturday with a, a nine-point win over Grand. It wasn't nearly that close. No, uh, they played, you know, the third, I think in the third quarter they really – you know, played well through the third quarter on the offensive end and the defensive end and opened up a, a big lead on them. The boys get back on the court, and it'll be a tough week for Rich at Bear Lake on Thursday, then versus Paiute and Penguins at the 1A preview on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, that'll be uh, some very good games this next week. It'll be a good test for the boys to see where they're at and what they need to improve on. Girls will be at Westside Friday and then the season home opener Saturday against Bear Lake. Yeah, and that'll be a couple of fun games for them. Both of them should be good games also. Anything else you want to touch on, Glenn? Uh, I guess just the wrestlers. Uh, the wrestlers did well this weekend and uh, sounded like they had a good tournament, a uh, good showing, and so that was fun to hear about them doing so well. Wrestlers this weekend will be at Marsh Valley? Yep, at uh, Marsh Valley Tournament. So uh, wish them luck and wish uh, both the boys and the girls basketball team luck also. Glenn Smith, Athletic Director of Rich High School, thanks for your time and best of luck this week. All right, thanks.